This is a guide on how to use Cream Installer for unlocking Steam DLCs on certain games. So after you download the program, double click it to uh, open it. Then select the game you want to uh, attempt to exploit. In this case, it's going to be Deep Rock Galactic. Click OK. And give it a moment, it will need to download uh, all the potential DLCs. Now, uh, from here, just pause with this program. We can't go any further at this point. We need to first figure out what specific DLL to exploit. So I already know, but in this case, I'm going to show you which ones uh, to do in the case for your game. So first uh, step in the process is to open Task Manager and make sure, of course, you have the More Details tab expanded. And then you're going to want to launch your game. So again, I'm going to go launch Deep Rock Galactic. And go to run. Okay. Now that it's running, I'm going Am to I tab back into uh, Task Manager. I'm going to go to the Details tab, and I'm going to look for the game. So in this case, I see I found it here. It's called FSD.exe. This is important because I need to remember the name of the process for the next step. The game may or may not be named uh, the expected title that you think it is, so it's important to know the exact name. So again, remembering fsd.exe. And again, just to show you that I'm not currently, I don't own any of the DLCs for the game. You know, so I go to the helmet tab, normally there'd be DLC helmets here, which I don't own any, so I, they don't show up for me. Now I'm gonna close the game. Okay, and now the next program we need to open is Process Monitor. This can be downloaded from the official Windows uh, website if you just Google search it. And just click yes. Okay, so first time startup, it will show a screen like this. I'm just going to press OK. It'll show me uh, different processes um, that are currently running on my computer. Now, uh, the important part, you want to come up here to the filter. And we're going to add three custom filters. Now, the first one is the process name. And process name is, and this is where you're going to want to put the name of your game. It doesn't matter if it's caps or not, doesn't matter. But this, this part needs to be specific to whatever game you're attempting to exploit. So then click Add. Second one is going to be Result and Contains and you're going to type in name not found and add. And for the third and final one, go to path and path will be ends with and DLL and don't cap it. So DLL, all lowercase and then click add. Okay, and then click apply. Now you notice of course there's nothing that appears. So what we have to do next is once again launch the game. So go ahead and launch your game. You notice immediately I have some processes appear on the monitoring screen. So just let it load all the way. Wait, and I'm just going to let game? it run in the background. So you'll notice here now the game is calling to specific DLL files. So we see here d3d8.dll and d3d.dll. Now we go back into Cream Installer and you see clicking the drop down, I don't have a d3d.dll, uh, nor do I have a d3d8.dll. So in this case, what I did was just install all of them. So I went here, the d3d10.dll, I clicked on it, and then I click generate and install. And I just gave it a sec and press OK. Then go back in again, launch Cream Installer again, click uh, to select Deep Rock Galactic, press OK, wait for it, click the drop down again, move on to d3d11.dll, I click that one, click Generate and Install, click OK, launch it again, Deep Rock Galactic, press OK, click the drop down, click where it says d3d9.dll, Generate and Install, press OK. Okay, now we're done. Now go ahead and exit out of your game and relaunch it.
this time I should have the DLCs unlocked for me. Noticing even it's taking a bit longer to load here as it's loading the DLCs. What a fabulous slab of beef okay. I am! So if I press, if I go into the character area, you notice now I have access to all of the DLC items. So that's it in a nutshell. Hopefully this guide helped you. Uh, the the DLL files may be different depending on what game. So best to test and figure it out on your own.